Hi there guys and girls and welcome to TMK's Top 5. So I thought for my first Top 5 that I'd take a look at the most brutal moves from Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. Um, yeah, so I'm not really talking about fatalities, like because some characters have really cool fatalities and some don't, you know, but I'm talking about the moves, the ones during the game. Which characters really made you cringe when you saw a move? Like the first time I saw X-Ray, I was like, ah, oh, make it stop, make it stop! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, back in, back in the old days, back in the golden age of Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, which moves really did it for you? Which made, moves really made you go, ah. <laughs> so, let's jump right into it and check out my top five most brutal characters moves from Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. Number 5. Scorpion. Of course, I had to mention Scorpion. Scorpion is, is my favourite character. But uh, the thing that makes Scorpion, you know, wh why I included him in the top five, is the Harpoon move. He, honestly, Scorpion's never really had a lot of moves. Even in Mortal Kombat 2, he's, he's had the Teleport Punch, Harpoon, uh, Scissor Kick, and Air Throw. That's it. Four moves. So in Mortal Kombat 1, he only had the Harpoon and the Teleport Punch. That was it. So I've included the Mortal Kombat 2 Scorpion in my top five because he had more moves. Um, the Harpoon, also in MK2, is faster and more deadly. With, in MK2, when you throw it in, you hear the like, uh, you hear it like, like it digs in, the sound effect's more brutal, and yeah, you go, get over here, you know, and just the fact that, you know, you've impaled someone with this rope dart, or harpoon, or spear, whatever you want to call it, is deadly. So that's why I've included Scorpion as my fifth on my top five. Number four. Johnny Cage. Of course, the movie star with the attitude. Um, the reason I've included Johnny Cage in number four spot, you're all probably guessing, is one reason. Ah! That nut buster, man. The first time I saw that, I was like, ah! And uh, even Ed Boone said it recently on his Twitter that they had a they had a switch for those of you at the arcade or you got main. You know, everyone knows this now. But before main, no one knew this. There was a switch inside Mortal Kombat. There was two banks of what we call dip switches, and there was a switch for blood and violence. There was a switch for fatalities, and there was another switch that allowed you to turn that off. But people thought it, you know, everyone thought maybe people would get that horrified uh, of getting punched so hard in the nuts that you could actually disable it in the game. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, Johnny Cage, again, I've included his MK2 version because he's got more moves. He had his shadow kick, his shadow uppercut. He had the low and high fireballs. And, uh, yeah. But that nut buster, ooh, ouch. So, yeah. Johnny Cage, number four. Number three. Kitano. Not only is she sexy, but deadly. The thing, the reason I put Katana in number third spot was because of uh, the sheer amount of blood uh, when you throw that fan at someone. Uh, you throw the fan and it's like, and they get caught and you can hear it like cutting them up and then the fan rebounds off the screen. As it rebounds, all the blood just... The first time I saw that, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the fuck? I couldn't believe how much blood was like, like the first Mortal Kombat had a lot of blood. I'd say the bloodiest thing in the first Mortal Kombat was when Raiden blew their head off. But uh, when I saw Katana's fan fly like off the screen, I think that's one of the, the moves in the game that has the most blood involved. And blood just goes everywhere, just rips off the fan, you know, and uh, yeah. Other than that, Katana also had that fan slice, which was pretty deadly as well. She also had a teleport, um, uh, sorry, not a lot. A fan lift and a square wave punch, uh, which are also pretty deadly moves. But anything with with the time, the fans deadly, and they were fast too, very fast and quick. So yeah, that's why I concluded Katana in the third spot. She's also a top tier character for those of you out there who know your MK2 combos. Number two. 
number two. Baraka. Man, Baraka is what ugly motherfucker. But you can't. You, you, everyone knows he is one of the most savage and brutal Mortal Kombat characters ever. Uh, that fan. Sorry, fan. <laughs> that, uh, uh, that blades fury. Man, you get caught in that, you're fucked. You are fucked. <laughs> there's so many times when you're playing Mortal Kombat 2 with a friend, you know, and he'll be Baraka, and there's just times when you just you just want to go for the fly kick, you know. But if the player is good enough, they're ready for it every time. And as soon as they start that play free, <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, no, wait, stop, 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 stop. But you can't stop. You can't, there's one thing you can't do in Mortal Kombat. As soon as you jump, you have to finish that jump. And you land right into that. And blood again goes everywhere. Much like Katana's uh, fan. But uh, yeah, I think Katana's fan has more blood than Baraka's. Baraka's has a lot of blood. On top of that, he has the blade swipe, which is, again, fast. I have a long range. And, you know, you can really fuck someone up with a good, like a. Uh, I can show you here on the video. Uh, other than that, he's got the blade, the blade spark. And Baraka, again, a character with a great fly kick and everything. So Baraka is one badass Mortal Kombat character that you don't fuck with. Number one, Jax. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering what the hell could be a number one spot. And I don't think many of you guessed it, but a few of you did. I'm about to bring out the phone and uh, read out what, what a few people's top five, see if they could guess my top five. But uh, my number one character, of course, as you already heard, was Jax. And the reason is the backbreaker move. The first time I saw that, I cringed so hard. That move, uh, it burned something in my head. The first time I was hit with that, I believe the computer did it on me. And I'm just jumping around, fly kicking, fly kicking, and I had no idea where it was coming from, you know. I'm just like, ah, you know, I'm fly, probably fly kicking with Katana, she's got the best fly kick. And then that's only here, gotcha! I was like, what the, what the fuck happened? And it looked so horrible. It just grabbed me midair and slammed me back down. And you just had the back snap in half. And I'm like, there's no way, there's no way he would get up after that. No way. You know? And I was like, shit. You know? For me, that has been the most brutal move or savage move in Mortal Kombat today. And um and it wasn't just that. Jax was just a bastard. He was, he had this gotcha grab, where he grabbed you and started punching your fucking face, like, uh, 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 yeah, uh, 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 you like that, uh, 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 you know, and then he had that fucking energy, that energy fucking, that energy wave, and he had the ground pound, you know, and of course, the quadruple slam. <laughs> He is one bad ass dude. You just don't fuck with Jax. And um, oh, the re the funny thing is, like in MK3 they gave him metal arms, and although it looked cool, and I really like that slice fatality, I didn't I didn't like the metal arms much, and I, I've never really liked them. I gotta be honest, because the reason is, I still think back to MK2 and Jax and how fucking hardcore he was in MK2, and he didn't have metal arms. He was he was. Fucking brutal man. He was just a guy with huge arms. And I, I just thought the metal was like just overkill. It was just too much. He was already strong as. And even his fatalities. I know this isn't about fatalities, but Jax had the bat the most badass fatalities in Mortal Kombat 2. Fucking snap smashes their head and fucking rips their arms off. Who the fuck does that? That's sick, man. <laughs> you know? So for me, Jax has been the most brutal character in Mortal Kombat 2. Um, no one's even come close. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the new Jax looks pretty cool. I really like that fatality where it holds their head, head along a train. But, um, <clears throat> I don't think, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think they'll ever top Mortal Kombat 2 Jax. So, that's my top five. Now, I'm going to go to my, log on to my Twitter, and I'm going to read out a few of the messages I got before filming this video. Um, uh, let's have a look here. 
It's a purple case, not pink, alright? <sighs> so much shit about my phone case. Alright, so let's have a look see. Let's have a look see. Mm. Oh, a lot of messages. Okay. Mm. Okay, I had Etheril 90 said Kung Lao, Kano, Jax, Baraka, and Scorpion. Pretty close. I should also mention the reason I didn't put Kung Lao and Kano in. Kano looks badass, and the Nice Row is pretty badass too. And the Cannonball's okay, but I think it's more that he looks tough than some of his moves. That's why I chose like the, the Ball Breaker with Johnny Cage and the Harpoon, I think, is more deadly than the Nice Row. Uh, Kung Lao's hat's also very deadly, but it's really the only deadly move Kung Lao has is the hat. And again, I topped the Harpoon over the hat, so. Okay, and then we had uh, Triple X, Chad Triple X, who said, uh, I think he made a few, okay, yeah. uh, Scorpion, Kung Lao, Liu Kang, Baraka, and Johnny Cage. Close. Uh, we got Cody, Slu, Slu? S L S O L E. Hmm. He said, Sector, Sorak, Scorpion, Sub Zero. Hey, man, that's it, MK1 and 2. Yeah. Okay, we got Fire Grip. Who said Scorpion, Luke Kang, Sub Zero, Kano, Kung Lao? I wouldn't really put Luke Kang in there. Uh, his moves aren't that badass. We had Based Monster, who said. Oh, is this after me? Forget that. He's just asking me what I know about the game, the new game. Uh, Fire Group. Oh, yeah, I already did him. Okay. Uh, J Marchant19 said Katana. Uh, then he said. Shao Kahn and Goro, but he only said three, and uh, bosses weren't, I didn't include bosses in this, just playable characters and not secret characters, you know. Uh, and then he said arcade drop, it's MK3. Uh, Jay Merchant replied again, I continued on, Liu Kang and Raiden, sorry man, not even close enough. Uh, sub Kuro. This guy, man, I've been fighting with this guy all week. Why is he talking to me? I thought he hates my guts. Uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, he said Jax, Cage, Kano, Baraka, Shang Tsung. Pretty close. Repressed. Um, obviously, I can't include Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung's an impersonator. He impersonates the characters. He isn't the character. So I've got to give the character preference over Shang Tsung, even though Shang Tsung can be everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have a sip. My throat's a bit funny, as you guys might have noticed. Bug going around. I'll let Dr. Pepper fix it. The doctor is in, baby! Alright. Um, uh, some people replied again. I'll read them out. Ethereal90 replied again and said Kano Baraka, maybe Scorpion. Cody Sali again replied said Reptile Scorpion, Sub Zero Kung Lao Shang Tsung. Clone Psycho said Molina and Baraka for sure. That's interesting. Jax, Shang Tsung up next. Rounded off with Kung Lao. Sub, sub, and then he said substitute Shang Tsung for Sonya because I said no Shang Tsung. And uh, Sub Kira replied again and said Jax, Cage, Kano, Baraka and Katana. Wow. That's very close. I mean, he almost had it. He almost had it. Um, but Scorpion, man. How could you forget Scorpion's Alpoon, man? Uh, and then Cody Sully came back again, and uh, for his final reply said, Reptile, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Kung Lao, and Katana. Pretty close. Uh, sort of. No, he only had two. So Sub-Kiro actually was the closest. It's funny. Yeah. So that's pretty much it uh, for my top five. I'm hoping to do a few more of these top five videos uh, when I've got time about different aspects of Mortal Kombat. You know, it could be anything. Comic books, TV, episodes, fatalities. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching my top five, and I'll see you guys next time. Flawless victory.